6.33 and new this morning. Police are searching for the suspect who tried to stab a teenager in an unprovoked attack outside a Queen's school. Police releasing video of the suspect and a picture of the knife that he used. It happened Tuesday as the 16-year-old victim was waiting at the bus stop during school dismissal. Police say the suspect walked up and tried to stab the teen in the chest. But get this, police say the knife broke as it hit the victim's shirt. The victim was not hurt. The suspect ran off. We're following the latest developments as we track Hurricane Fiona overnight. The storm weakened slightly to a Cat 3, still a major storm though, as it hit Bermuda. We've just learned 70% of that island is without power. It comes as relief efforts in Puerto Rico are getting underway. President Biden met yesterday at FEMA's Manhattan headquarters with Governor Kathy Hochul, Mayor Adams, and Puerto Rico's Governor Pierre Luisi, promising to cover 100% of the recovery for the next month. We're all in this together, I promise you, Gov. This, we're not, we don't view this as some distant problem. This declaration is going to we'll get federal resources there quickly uh, and it's going to help people start rebuilding their lives. A team of New York City experts in logistics, transportation, buildings, and construction is now on the ground in Puerto Rico. Two-thirds of that island remain without power since Fiona made landfall there.